Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel, The A Plus Show. And this is going to be my favorites for the month of September 2017. Okay, so I don't have many makeup products, but I do have some products to show you beauties that I've just been craving over. And it's from hair care to skin care to makeup. So let me go ahead and get started. And I'm just, I'm not going in any order, I'm just picking up things. Okay, so I can go ahead and get these out of the way. These have been like the shades that I have been rocking for this month. I got these from Ellen Poppy for Baby. Um, I have mentioned them, showed them to you in a haul. So if you like click on my video, you will see these and some other things that I got from her site. Absolutely love them, they're super gorgeous. And I also was wearing them in my last video, which was my blog video. These are like so cool. <laughs> and they were only like $10, like super affordable. Okay, next thing is a hair care product. Okay, so I have been wearing braids and I picked up the Sulfur 8 Medicated Dandruff Treatment for Braids. And so I love this stuff because all you have to do is just take it and spray it. On your braids okay so there's a lot of stuff because the fan is going there's no smell to it what well, no I mean it's it smells clean and clear really not to say that there's no smell because there is a smell but it doesn't smell bad normally um, back in the day sulfur 8 products were real notorious for having such a horrible smell this product smells really really well and it really keeps my hair from itching. So I'm never doing this or this or trying to get in between my braids or under my braids to scratch my head. So I just so I just applied this once every two days and I'm like really good. So I love it. Definitely it's going to be something that I keep in my collection because I feel like I'm going to be rocking braids a lot. It makes it much easier when it Okay, so moving on, I told you guys about this and I'm still just really, really in love with it. It makes my skin super, super soft all the way down, you know, from my neck to my toes because I don't use it on my face. But I just mix this in with a few drops of my regular lotion or scented lotion, whatever lotion I feel like wearing at that time. And this just really retains the moisture. It's really good to moisturize your skin like right after you get out, out of the shower. Just kind of pat yourself dry. Don't really like rub yourself bone dry but you want to be like a little damp so that your body can absorb the moisture from the products that you're putting in it or on it sorry not in it <laughs> but yes and this is just the equate version walmart brand they probably do have like a johnson and johnson version but i just picked this up okay so now i'm going to show you some brushes i did a haul showing you the sonia cashew brushes that i picked up and it was a little collection it was I don't, it was over the summer so this one here I've been using as a powder brush to uh, blend out whatever under eye powder I'm using like my banana powder or if it's the Anastasia powder and I really love the finish that it gives um, when I use this this next brush is for blending oh my gosh I just this ooh, is the bomb.com I like to use it to apply like my transitional color but I have used it for other things and it's just amazing. It's so soft and it just really blends the product really really well. And this I've been using as my all over powder brush and it says it's a blending brush. Okay, so you cast your gas B. Uh, I just take it and put my setting powder and oof, just tap it and blend 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 all over my face. It's so super soft. It just does a really, really amazing job. So I've really been loving the way my looks have been coming out since I've like really, really been sticking to using these three brushes consistently. And I just got those brushes at Target. Okay, this I am definitely going to do a uh, tutorial on how to use it. It's pretty simple, but I want to show you beauties on camera so you really can understand what I am trying to tell you. This stuff right here, melts your makeup off you know a lot of times especially when you're filming you might be heavy on the makeup on the foundation or you just might like heavy foundation on a regular basis whatever but this 
it's better than any other makeup removing product for your face that I have ever used. You just, it's a clear gel and you just rub it in light lotion and immediately it's like my just make my makeup starts to melt away. I love it. This one here, I, you can even use it on your eyes. Um, sometimes I do, but most of the time I use my eye makeup removers because I need to use those up. But I probably will go to using this to get my eye makeup off as well because it's so easy. Super easy. And I just got it from CS. I'm sure they have it in Walmart and Walgreens. And... It doesn't break the bank at all. Okay, next thing that I've been loving is my Mineralize Skin Finish in Blonde. I've been using this as a highlight for when I wear my uh, blushes that are like uh, pinky, mauve type colors. So this is Blonde. Years ago, I raved about this. I really loved it, and I still feel the same way to. to uh, I still feel the same way about it today. What I will say is that it does go on very heavy, so you really have to like lightly swipe your brush across it and put it on because it does sparkle and shine. And this is blonde. I'm not sure if it's in their permanent collection. I don't see why not, but I think it is. I absolutely love it as a highlighting product. Okay, so this might be my first time talking about this in my favorites, but I don't care. This NARS concealer is everything. That's all I have to say. I have the color Custard and I use it as a highlight. It goes on very thick, but it blends very well. And it pretty much stays put all day long. Let me just blend that out a little bit for y'all. Y'all see that? That little bit did all of that. All you need is a little bit. It's absolutely amazing. Very high quality. More expensive. Um, it's on the more expensive side for concealers. But it's well worth every penny you spend. <laughs> this little thing right here is soft brown. I know I'm saying it's my favorite for the month of September 2015. But it's been my favorite for the past six months. I love it. Great transitional color for my skin complexion. I'm sure you beauties have heard all about it on the YT year after year after year after year. This is, I already have another one waiting because I'm like, I can't run out. Like, I don't need to go to do my eye makeup and don't have soft, soft brown. I use it like every day. Absolutely amazing product. And I believe when you buy them in this little small pan thing like this, they're only $11 from Mac. Alright, next product is called I Love Shade and it's True Blue Spa. I do not remember where I got this from. But it's a ultra pampering foot cream with 20% shea butter. And what I do is before I go to sleep, I just rub this on both my feet. And then I put socks on so that my feet can be real soft and not all dry and cracky. So yeah. Uh... I don't know where I got it from though. Probably Sephora, I guess. I don't know, but it's amazing. <gasps> Love it. Okay, so I definitely have been rocking these ultra matte lips from uh, ColourPop. The color that I will say has been my favorite was two of them, but the one I wore the most is Beeper, and then the other one is Midi. I have Midi right here. I don't right readily know where Beeper is. But I'll show you Midi, and today for the first time, I'm wearing Drive-In, so this is Drive-In. But here's Midi, it's a real nice nude color, if you follow me on Snapchat, you will see me um, wearing it, I just love it, this is definitely a go-to. But I gotta put it to the side for a while so I can try some of the other ones. But Drive-In, I love it, I love the way it applied, so I'm thinking this might be like a nighttime favorite for me. Okay. Next is my favorite brush for on the go. This is my 137 SE from MAC. I think I got this from a, the CCO some years ago. And this is what I keep in my little makeup bag. Oh, yes, see something else I got in my makeup bag. <laughs> I keep this in my little makeup bag for my touch-ups when I'm out and about. So this is just a wonderful brush. I, I'm sure they have it in their regular collection. I, I guess it would be a 137, maybe not an SE, but this is an amazing brush. And it's real, you know, small and just fits real easily in my makeup bag. 
Okay, so last product that I've just been putting all over myself is this Honey by Marc Jacobs. I think I'm ready to invest in, well, probably after I use more of this, but <laughs> I'll definitely invest in a regular size tube. But this is just a roll-on ball that I picked up from Ulta or Sephora a while ago. And it is just amazing. It smells so good. And it's perfect for just, you know, putting in your purse, touching up anywhere real quick. And it smells so light and just, oh God, I can't even explain it. It doesn't smell anything like honey to me, but it smells good. So next time you are in a store and you pass by the fragrance section, please just spray this on a little card or on your body. You're guaranteed to be like mesmerized by it. I 